How are we doing today? Nice to see you. Welcome to another No Pro Joe tutorial. Today, I'm talking about adding Technicolor Cinestyle to your Canon camera. Stick around. All right. This tutorial comes by request of a viewer, Pawel Wasilowski. I hope I said that right. Anyway, he says, I know it may be a silly question. Could you make a tutorial on how to ins you install these those profiles? Well, there you go. This is how I do it. It's uh, it's actually super easy. If you have um, your EOS utility installed on your computer, if you don't and you own a Canon camera, you really should because you can update your camera through there. You can shoot remotely. You can add um, profiles to it. So go ahead and uh, download uh, EOS utility to your computer. All right, let's get into it. So the back of your screen, you'll see your color profiles. And right now you can see I have a uh, faithful on there for a color profile. Generally when uh, doing photography or video, faithful is a good choice. But if you really want to go with a more flatter picture style, um, not that it really gives you a ton of dynamic range, but it does give it more gradability in post to get uh, different colors. It's obviously not going to be as good as like a, a log profile, but it, it is definitely better. So you can see I already have a CineStyle installed on here. You can see it right there. But when you open your camera up, it's going to say auto in all three of these user positions. So you want to add CineStyle to, you know, one or two, whatever's best for you. And you can see you can adjust everything as far as your sharpness, your contrast, your saturation, your color tone right in the camera. So we're not going to worry about adjusting any of that inside of your utility. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into the internet and download Technicolor Cinestyle. So you're basically just going to type in Technicolor Cinestyle and uh, you'll get this screen will come up and you click on download the Technicolor Cinestyle. Pretty simple, straightforward. Right here, you see they show you the differences in the profiles. Just go ahead and click download Cinestyle. Okay, allow it, and there it goes in your download folder. And it's just going to be a file. Just grab it, and I'm going to drag it up onto the desktop here. All right. Let's go ahead and open up our EOS utility. Now, you're going to plug your Canon camera in through the USB cord and open up your EOS utility. And you can see right there for your settings. All right, and you have import profiles. And this is a screen that's going to show up. So you're going to see your user one, two, and three. And they're all set to auto here. Well, you can change them to any of the current profiles you have on your camera. Or you can import a file. As you can see, I have a ton of profiles. I found a bunch of them on the internet and just downloaded them all. And I have them in case I want to try them. But let's go to the desktop to that file. There it is. And there it is. It's a PF2 file. Click it. Open it up. And there it is. And it shows you all your settings for it. The ones I showed you on the back of the screen that you can adjust in your camera. I'll just usually leave it the way it is. It's fine. Hit OK. And now that's it. That's all there is to it. It's on your camera. So now you can go back into your camera. Now let's just show you the little difference. You can see the difference. I'm sorry about the focus. It keeps going in and out. I, I didn't move it to manual focus. So right here, you see the difference in the color of the screen. Faithful. You can barely see the wall behind. Now let me change it to Cine style. Whoop, look at that. So you do get a little more dynamic range. Well, anyway, I hope this is helpful. If you got any questions, down below. We'll see you next time.